I am so sorry about this lighting. It is just atrocious. I went to film this video earlier today and I wasn't home all day and I don't have my ring light at home with me because it's at school. Hi everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Abby Aslan and I upload college and lifestyle videos all the time so you should totally go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and today's video is going to be a favorites video. I know you guys love my favorites videos and it's one of my favorite things to film and watch. Um, I just love like hearing what people are loving so I can try it out and telling people about what I've been loving so you guys can try it out. This is just everything I've been using like the past like month or so that I've been obsessed with and a lot of these things are like things I got for Christmas or just bought recently and I'm obsessed with them so I can't wait to share them with you guys and I will have everything linked down below if y'all are wanting to check it out for yourself. So I have a little bit of everything but we are definitely heavy and like the clothing and makeup area um, for my favorites this time around so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with clothing and the first thing I'm going to show you guys are these Wild Fox joggers and they are just like this gray color and they look like fleece on the outside. They're not fleece on the inside but I like that because it's not really that cold in florida or alabama where i spend most of my time so they are perfect and they're just very wide leg and then they're um gathered at the bunch to the bottom but they're super duper soft on the outside and i saw these during finals week on nordstrom rack on sale for 45 dollars and they're normally like 108 or something like that so i got a really good deal on these and i said these were like a dark olive color but they're definitely gray um and i don't know if they have any left i'll try and link them down below and i'll try to find something similar if they don't have them but i've just been loving these they're I think they're like pretty flattering on me they're really really comfortable and i like i just love them and they look really good with like a white like free people t-shirt or urban outfitters like white plain shirt and i just really really love these next up is another pair of joggers and it's just my lululemon dance joggers i was wanting a pair of lululemon joggers for the longest time and then as you guys if you guys watched that vlog from vlogmas i actually got these and they are just this like lavender type of color like a very light purple color um, and then they have pockets and I really like how the waistband is like fitted and stretchy and can tie and then um, The bottom is cuffed and then they have like the logo on the leg But these are just like super lightweight once again very comfy and great for on the go um, I'm probably gonna wear these on my flight tomorrow But I am just obsessed with these and I just love joggers so much because it's nice to have like leggings to work out in and then joggers are like a similar concept but they're better for day-to-day -day wear going along with Lululemon is this scuba hoodie I also got this during vlogmas and i have the heathered white color and it's just really comfy and my favorite way to wear it is with a sports bra underneath and then i just zip it up um that way it's like not too heavy if i have like another shirt on underneath it but um i just really like it throwing on over you know like if i'm going to work out whatever a tank top but if i'm just wearing it day to day i normally just throw a sports bra on underneath it um and it's just a really comfy like fleece jacket and i love it a lot next up is this ugg cardigan that my mom actually got me from dillard's for christmas which was a very big surprise i did not think she would get it but it was funny because one of the first days we went shopping when i got back home i saw this and i was like that is so soft and i remember feeling it and she was like wow that's insane but i can't even explain this this is the softest thing i own i will say that um and it's just a cardigan and it's a beautiful color and like a really good length but it's just so soft and stretchy and like oh my gosh it's so soft like i love wearing these like around the house when i'm cold like just as like a cozy lounging thing but they also just look great over like an urban outfitters white tee once again with leggings and slip-on shoes or supergos or something like i absolutely love this card again and it's by far the softest thing i own next up in the fashion area are these uggs these are the classic mini two uggs and my boyfriend actually got me these for christmas which was really sweet of him um it like gets really cold in tuscaloosa for a few months but like i would always wear my tennis shoes during those cold months and my toes would freeze off and it's the worst feeling ever and these are also just good like house shoes and i look really like stupid holding these on my hands like this but i just really really like them and i like the really short ones i just think they look really good with leggings but um i really like these and i'm just so thankful that he got them for me because it was like a surprise and it's something that i wouldn't want to buy with my own money and those are always like the best gifts and i used to have so many uggs when i was in middle school and high school you guys like i literally had like five pairs and now i have another pair and they're just like short but i like them a lot another favorite is these light filtering glasses these are from glasses usa i did a video with them and i just got these frames picked out to have like the blue light filter in them and i'm like in love with these because i there have been many days over this break where i have spent so much time in front of my computer screen whether it was like editing vlogmas or just editing videos or just literally just watching videos on my computer or netflix or something and I would, my eyes would get really dry and strained and i would just get a headache really good for filtering out like the blue light in your computer screen but um and they're just like cute and fashionable so i like them for that reason too 
but I really have been liking these a lot recently. And lastly, in the fashion area um, are these gold earrings. I got these from Shoe Dazzle a while ago and I forgot I had them um, up until like a little bit before I left to come home for school and I just wear them all the time now. And I just love the gold hoops. I mean, everyone knows they're trendy right now, so like everyone's wearing them, but I really, really like them. I just think that they like make an outfit look a lot more put together. Now going into makeup and skincare and hair care and all that jazz. The first thing is this dose of lip color. It's what I have on my lips right now and it looks a lot better when I use like a dark lip liner underneath it like MAC Spice and then putting this on top it looks beautiful and it's the most perfect nude color. And this lighting it looks weird I feel like but I really really like this and I feel like it stays on for a long time but it's in the shade Let's Cuddle and it's just the dose um, liquid lipstick. Next up for makeup I literally got this like three days ago but I've worn it two or three times and I have it on my skin right now and it's the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation and I love this so much and I actually got a free small liquid lipstick with the purchase of this and the liquid lipstick color is beautiful. I wore it today um, but I'm in the shade 1.05 and I think I like it so much because it's the most perfect match for my skin and I feel like I've always worn foundations that never match me correctly and it's like the biggest blessing whatever your foundation actually matches you I feel like and I just really like how this feels like I'm not wearing anything on my skin, but you could like really build it up to super full coverage if you want. And like, you know, there's no flashback in it and it just looks really good in all lighting. And um, I really just feel like it doesn't emphasize any dryness on my face and it just like really stays on my face so long throughout the day and I love it. Next up is this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I love this so much because A, it's a lot of product and it's like um, $15 I think and you can get it at Ulta. But it's like an aerosol spray so instead of like a setting mist that you just like press the squirt bottle it's like a continuous spray on your face and it like really the mist is so fine that it like doesn't like leave speckles on your face like urban decays does sometimes so i've really been enjoying this now kind of going in the skincare this is the mario badescu lip balm and i got this around christmas and this is like the best lip balm ever because it's really thick and hydrating and i feel like if i put it on like before i eat a meal even after the meal i can feel it on my lips and it's just so moisturizing and hydrating and I have the driest lips ever at this time of year especially because I went on a bike ride the other day when it was really windy and it was like a 15 mile bike ride with my family and my lips got so dried out and I feel like they're already back to normal from um, using this consistently and I love putting on like when I'm putting my makeup on like right before I do my lip stuff and then I put it on before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning. Next up is this Derma E Eye Lift. Um, I did just get this so I can't really tell you guys like if it's helping I don't really know what it would help with my eyes besides like my bag, but I feel like when I put it on, I can actually like truly feel it. My eyes feel like so much more like firm and onto my face. They don't feel so droopy anymore when I put it on. I use it morning and night is at the end of my skincare routine and it's just really good. And I think the longer I use it, the more effective it'll be. So I will keep you guys updated on it. Next up is this Bare Minerals Butter Drench Restorative Rich Cream. This is a life changer. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used in my entire life. Um, it's the only moisturizer that I feel like lasts on my skin all day long. Normally when I put on moisturizers, I have like pretty dry skin. And the moisturizer, like the hydrated feeling goes away after like 30 minutes I feel like. And then I feel like I need to put more on. And I hate that because um, I don't want to like put too much product on my skin and I don't want to use all my products. But this is just so nice and it's supposed to like um, help with a lot of things. And I use it morning and night. Um, after I put on my scar cream and I was gonna put my scar cream in the favorites because like I feel like I like it a lot But I can't attest to it working yet because I literally got it like a week ago. So um, But I really really like this moisturizer. It's definitely like pricey But it's not drunk elephant pricey and it just feels so good on my skin and I am obsessed with it Last in the skincare is the Clinique take the day off um, balm and this is basically a Makeup remover, but it's in the form of a balm I thought it'd be more like gel, but it literally like looks like a big thing of chapstick in here almost. And you just put it on your fingers and put it on your literally dry skin and rub it all over your face. And then you just rinse your face and your makeup's off. And I can like feel how much better it is on my skin than using a makeup wipe and like dragging my skin down. And like, I know that's not good to be rough on your skin like that, but here I am doing it. But it's so good. I've only used it once, but I went ahead and put it in my favorites because last night I was so shocked with it. And the last but not least for the favorites this month, um, is this Diva, Diva Curl, I don't know how you say it, um, curl maker, and I got this as soon as I got my hair chopped, um, just to try a new product, and this is like sulfate para paraben silicone free, which is really good, especially for color treated hair, I don't have, I do have it in my hair right now, but I did curl my hair this morning, but like my underneath curls are all natural, 
today, but I only curled my top pieces because my hair was in a ponytail overnight. So I just wanted to like fix them up or whatever. And I like it a lot, but I do always accidentally spray a little bit too much. So that's my own fault. And I just need to figure out how much I need to use. And it's not that it makes my hair crunchy, but I can just tell like the difference on a day when I spray too much and when I spray the right amount. But I really do like this. It's not like the priciest stuff ever, but um, I feel like it will last long. My bottle's not very full right now, but it's because I filled an entire travel size bottle um, to take with me to Houston. But it smells so good, like candy, really, and it's awesome. And this was recommended to me. I want to try more of their products. Um, I really want to try the coconut mousse stuff, so let me know if you guys have tried that and you like it. But I got this just because I hate putting product, hair product on my hands and having to use my hands to like do my hair products. Then you just have to like wash them before you put the stuff in your hair, wash it after you put the stuff in your hair, and it's just annoying. So like this, you just like spray it in your hair and scrunch it and you're good to go. And then the last thing that's a favorite, it's on my phone. I downloaded Lightroom on my phone and I like made my own preset. <laughs> I don't remember how I did it, honestly. But my all my past Instagram pictures, I've used the preset I made on it. And like, it's not even like a fancy preset at all. It's just like the way I like my pictures to look. Um, but Lightroom really lets you like get more into the details of your photos than like Visco does. And like, I still like Visco a lot and I do use it still. But um, I've just like really been liking my Lightroom preset that I made. So, um, and it's free, so it's not like you have to pay anything. But if you just like mess around with settings on a picture and it's like how you like the picture, like make the picture how you want in Lightroom. And then I think there's like a way where you can save all of your um, adjustments as a preset. So that's what I did and I really like it. So that was like a random favorite, but it's like what I've been doing. I've been getting questions about how I ask, um, edit my pictures. So, and that concludes all my favorites for this month. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know some of your favorites this month down below so I can like listen to what you guys like as well. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.